They are placed in a way to form a strange triangle, like a sacred space for rituals. Each has three shallow holes on a flat top in a triangle formation. I don't think it's locked, but rather blocked by something. Interesting thought. They fit perfectly. I fear the rocks and the traps were created to serve a purpose as one. Gah! Crows are not what they seem to be. Benedict, what are you looking at? Gah! Crows take human form. I can see the crosses. I can see the sinners. The crucified sinners. I don't want to end up like them, so close to the sky and yet so far from heaven. I must absolve myself from my sins. Anyone inside? You are not welcome. Father, please open the door. I have to confess. The door stays closed, but I will listen to your words. What do you want to confess, Benedict? I left my sister alone. Continue. I don't know where I left her, but it's a scary and dark place. Search within yourself and you shall find her. I renounced everything in my life to pursue my spiritual work. You followed God. There is nothing wrong with that. Do you think your family is more important? No, of course not. Nothing can be more... I don't know. I left Victoria. I left her alone to follow God. And now she's dead. Isn't that wrong? You are a lost man, Benedict. You've come to the wrong place. Father? No absolution for your sins. Not now, not ever. You shall meet the others on the cross. But before that happens, you may say goodbye to your parents. Talk to them. Please, in the name of God! Father, I beg you! No point. He won't listen to me. Here lay the remains of my mother, Petra Dohnani, and my father. Yosef Tochnani. You cannot talk back, but you can listen to what I have to say. I forgive you, Father, for having left. Mother, I hope you found peace. Forgive me for leaving. I couldn't stay by your side as I was haunted day and night by Father's shadow. I hated him, but my heart was filled with sorrow. Forgive me both for leaving Victoria alone. I don't know where she is. I know nothing about her except that she's scared and lonely, if even alive. I don't even know if this is a sin, as following God should never be regarded as such. May God forgive me, for I am lost, only a shell of the man I once was. So close to the sky, and yet so far from heaven. Benedict? What's happening? You were just standing there several minutes. Uh, nothing. 
I was just crucified for following God. Let's go. I don't think it's locked, but rather blocked by something heavy on the floor inside. The Tulove Grede. Let's find a way to get past them. Are you ready? Getting over won't be an easy task. I won't be going back anymore. You shouldn't either. Let's go to Pepel. Pepel. I won't go back on those rocks. It's too dangerous for the body and soul. What a place of beauty and terror is Pepel. What are you doing? Nikolai? The spring of the Henna River. Murky and completely lifeless. The ordeal by water was carried out here, where witches see the world upside down. Nikolai, do you see anything that could be an entrance? No. You're acting weird again. What's wrong? Nikolai? Nikolai. My, what a beautiful full moon night in a place of great suffering. What moon? There's no moon in the sky tonight. The moon is always here. And oh, tonight it is perfect. Nikolai. My. What moon? The moon. Ancient stakes made of stone, just like in the dream I had on the island. Via Cadaverum, the road of cadavers, or as they call it in this valley, Putlesheva. It's completely overgrown, but on our way back we should try heading this way instead of the rocks. I... I think I've found the entrance. Follow me. I'm going in. God, where? Into the water? Just do as I say. Trust me for once. Nikolai! Are you insane? Come out of there! Nikolai! I can't see him and I hear nothing. What should I do now? Am I really going to follow him? God, help me. Are we dead, Nikolai? The monster. You heard the monsters in the spring, too? W what were they? Thousands of tormented souls screaming. Screams so horrible they hurt. I've never felt so much pain. Deep, visceral agony. It seemed to go on forever.
monster is behind that rock. You're talking about Nerman? The king of Saborans. What rock? Victoria is alive behind. How do we get through that rock? Nikolai, where's the rock? Talk to me. He's losing his mind, or playing with mine. Either way, I'm on my own. You've opened the Sekvra book. Why would you do that? Victoria is near. Alive. Close it. It's dangerous. No! We must pass through! What's going on with you? Monster is here. I feel it. How can you feel him? He's close. I feel it. How do we get out of here? Sekra is the key. What do you mean, the key? The solution. To what? Key to get to Victoria. I'm not comfortable doing this, but I have no choice. I don't recognize this alphabet. Saborin script. Can you read it? No. What do these symbolize? The gods of Ahrizat. The moon must be Kasag. What about the rest? The gods of Ahrizat. Irkur Ahrizat. They call them the Utaloks. Utaloks of Ahrizat. Are these sigils? Sigils of the seven Utaloks of Ahrizat. I read about them on a wall below the church. Gods. Gods of Ahrizat. The kingdom of soul slaves. These dastardly pages you drool over are getting us nowhere. Close the cursed book. Will you wake up? Look around you. There's nothing to see. We're trapped here. Rocks. Look at the rocks. I believe rocks are the key. And... <sighs> you are right. Sekvra should rest now. Interesting. These same sigils are on that page, right? Yes. They look ancient. Must have been carved eons ago. Sigils of the seven Utaloks of Ahrizat. It's full of small crevices, top to bottom. God, the symbols! I see them! Crows, trees, the moon! Irkur Ahrizat, symbols of gods. Ancient, just like the sigils on the other wall. Crows, Ir ain't. It's full of sm. I feel a gentle breeze against my face and throat. It must be the passage Nikolai speaks of. I understand. The same sigils and symbols seen in the book are on these walls. What now? We open the passage. How do we get through? We must work together. But how? <laughs> Kivaleba Kasag. What? We must get to Victoria. Open the book. Let me see those pages again. No. Why? I can't find a connection with the carvings. Mother says Sekvra is mine. What? Sekvra must rest now. We'll need it later. He must be seeing Yatviga. 
I have to hurry up and find a way out of here. Anziri Simartle. Get yourself together, Nikolai. Wake up from... from this, from whatever is happening to you. <laughs> two must hunt. Two must come back. Two must work together to pass through. What are you talking about? Text said two Saborans go out to hunt. Two must come back to pass through. The text from the book? You said you can't read it. Mother read it to me. So how do we work together to pass through? I stay here, by this rock. You go to the other one. The other one? You mean, the one with the symbols? Yes. Irkur Ahrizat. Symbols of gods. Then what? What about those symbols? You push one at a time. Push a symbol. Then tell me which sigil I have to push. So if I push the symbol of the moon, I have to tell you to push the sigil of Kasag. Good, Benedict. Good. Kasag is the god of moon and existence. I remember. I get it now. Kota wrote the solution on the wall of his crypt, the Utalox of Ahrizat. Belzis is the god of the lost mind, Rasha has of the trees, and Ashreor... I'm not sure. I can't remember the rest. <laughs> Utuloks are rising. Matanbal, Ashreor, Nazash, Rashahaz, Belziz, Kasag, Yatkah. What if I miss? What if I tell you the wrong name? The king is coming. Nikolai! His mind is fading into nothingness. It must be the malevolent sway of the book, heightened by this evil place. I'll try to get it right. The sigils of the Utalox. I'm staying here. You push the symbols. The sigils... I'm... It's full of small crevices. Push, Kasag! King Kasag, god of moon and existence. Push Ashreor. Pray to Ashreor before looking for human flesh and blood, the god of hunting. Push Rashahas. God of natural cathedrals, full of shadows and leaves. Push Matanbal. He who sends his minions to take your rest, the god of nightmares. Push Nazash. Prince Nazash, god of flesh and blood. Push Yatka. The god of crows, Yatka. Push Belziz. He takes your conscience, beliefs, and values, leaves nothing but primal fears and instincts, pure madness. Nikolai, look, something is moving. The king is coming, Tivaleba Kasag. It worked! Victoria! Wait! Dear God, the land of death and malice, 
The Saborans' settlement. I'm alone again. Every time things get bad, that man disappears. Either physically or mentally. I should follow the light, and hope for the best. Like I have any other option left now. This must be the Temple of Truth, where the ritual- No, please. No more. Victoria! Please. <laughs> God, is that really her? Victoria? Kill me, please. <sighs> Calm down. It's me, Benedek. Brother? Uh, she's a living corpse. She has no face, no ears. What's left of my sister? All I see is the shell of a human being. Benedek? Where's that monster? I... I don't... Where have you been? We must get... No! I had to find it. You had to find what? The body. Yadviga? You found her body. Where is it? <laughs> uh, she's standing right next to me. You had nothing in your hands, and nothing is standing next to you. What is wrong with you? Only I can see my mother. You always seem to disappear when it gets dangerous. <laughs> There's nothing funny about it. It's your ignorance that makes me laugh. You don't know what it's like to be in this agony. Agony, you say? Look what that monster did to my sister, the wife you've been longing to find. It's him. Who? Listen to me. My mother will get us out of here. Just calm down and everything will be fine. Your mother is long dead. It must be that you're seeing the spirit of Yadviga. No, 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 and no! How many times have I told you to get rid of that book? Sakra stays with me. I need it. Yadviga is part of the book. She's eating your soul. She's my mother! You can't see her because you're living a lie, separated from reality. It's him! Nikolai is the monster! The book has nothing to do with her. She came back into my life after I ended Nermans. <laughs> All thanks to my wife, who is both a blessing and a curse to me. You killed Nermin? When? This is all your sister's fault. And you, you did this to me. You made my life a nightmare. What are you talking about? I had to do it. I had to kill Merman. He was about to kill Victoria in that house. She should have never brought us to Svetikota. Not followed her father's letter. If only she did not care about her fool of a brother. Things would have been different then. I would still have my family, my baby, my baby and my wife. And I wouldn't have this thing growing inside me. This monster mutates me into something inhuman. You are the monster we've been looking for this whole time? I am not the monster. The monster lives inside my body. 
You need to calm down now. We can help you. God can help you get on the right path. We have an exorcist among our ranks in the monastery. You just have to resist until we get back home. Ha! <laughs> Only my mother can help me. Look at your wife. If you had the courage to kill Nerman for her, then you must find the strength to subjugate his spirit and take control of him. You can do it. You must do it for Victoria. From the day I was born, they said I was a sin. God's degenerate. No one stood up for me. No one. And no God listened to my prayers. No one, except for my mother. She protected me. She guided me. And she made sure to silence those vile voices of the orphanage. In this tragedy, she comes back to me. And now I should listen to you? A man who cares only of what God has to say to him? Why listen to a spawn of the murderous Day Inani bloodline? Wait, this... This is not who you are, brother. Forces of evil are manipulating your thoughts. I listen only to my mother. If I kill you, and Victoria, I will be rid of the monster inside. I will be free. And I will have my family back. My mother and my baby who will be raised from the dead. You killed our baby. You dragged me here. You tore my face off. And you made me listen to the maddening voices from below. You did that, not the demon. It was you, monster. I am not guilty for what has happened. It's you, and, and you should blame your brother. No, Nikolai, wait. What did you think? That I was following your orders because you're smart, capable, and so thoughtful of others? <laughs> Nikolai, we are family. Look at your sister. I said, look at her. This is on you. You did that to her, not me. Now look me in the eye and tell me you are guilty for everything! Words cannot describe how devastated I am for Victoria and for the deaths of all these people. But God is witness to your evil deeds. You killed the mayor of Sveti Kotar. My hands did, not my soul. It was Nerman who wanted him dead. Lucia, that poor lady. You slaughtered her like an animal, and made me believe it was Nerman who came to the house. She had to go. She saw the crow from my nightmare in me. The spirit of Nerman. You killed Henry, too. He was about to die anyway, and he wanted to take Sekfra from me. And who killed the orphans? I had enough of listening to them, and seeing how mean they were toward that poor child. So I silenced them once and for all. They had to die? They were the only children left in this town. No one's left to miss them. You committed the same sin of the witch nun from Minsk, your mother. Why did you lie about not knowing where Victoria was? <laughs> You mindless, godly man. You could have killed us anywhere you wanted. In Budapest, or... or the moment we stepped inside that house. Nerman knew how to get here, not me. That is why I needed you. To find the way so that we could be here together, as a family. Why drag us to this temple? I follow the words of my mother. It is where the ritual must take place. I recall Vera telling me Nerman requires prey for the ritual. I was so blind, stupid. I want you to ask yourself, 
How are our deaths going to help you? Think about all the sins you've committed. Put that knife away and think about it. It's not too late. If you kill us now, he will become that same monster you are trying to destroy. No! <sighs> Tifa Leba Kassag. Hadziris Simartle. Tivit Gadasas Vreli. Nikolai, Yadviga is using you to fulfill Kassag's prophecy. You need to stop this. The demon. Mfare Kortsi Ahrisat Tvit. Nikolai, you are just being used for a vile cause. Listen to my voice. Bow before me. I am to become the king of the Saborans. I'm afraid this man is beyond salvation. I should act. God forgive me. It's over, my sister. <laughs> Kassag is with me! Mother is with me! Dear God, he's holding on the root! Take the knife from the floor, cut it! Let him rot in Ahrizat. And I'll give it back to you. I promise. Benedict, cut the root. Do not listen to him. It's just a book. God will understand. You won't dare! I will eat you alive! No, Mother, Mother, save me! <laughs> Finally, let it go. You are not going anywhere. We'll find a way out of here, and you'll be taken care of. You're bleeding. It's nothing. Don't think about me. <sighs> My brother is finally back. I. I am so sorry for everything you've been through. It's my fault. I've been wrong and blind. Victoria, I should have been there for you. Forgive me. Shh. The question our father always asked, 
What is true faith? Yes. Well, I think you finally know the answer. Oh, Benedict. I've been longing for this moment for far too long. What? Who are you? Don't you recognize me? Victoria? And who else would I be? What are you doing here? I'm your sister. I live here. This is our house, you silly. Am I dead? Dead? You have more life in you than ever before. I'm not sure about that. I feel weak. The more you sleep, the more tired you feel. But don't you worry about a thing. It'll pass soon. The last thing I remember is being with you inside the mountain. What were we doing there? You were all grown up, without a face. And I think you died in the end. <laughs> You've always had a vivid imagination, brother. It was just a dream. Relax. But it was all so real. I don't think it was a dream. <laughs> Come, you should get up now. Father and mother are waiting for us in the basement. What are they doing down there? She always detested that place. They just said they want to talk, but... I know that is a lie. I heard them saying we should prepare for what's coming. And what would that be? A great evil. The witch? Or the moon ghouls. Come now. Let's go meet them. Oh, I almost forgot. I placed something in your pockets that you might need for the basement. Here's our hero. Are you Detective Mostov? Oh, don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. You saved a lot of people. You really are a hero? My silly brother. Uh, how? The inhabitants raised their voices, broke free from their chains. Things are different now, thanks to you. I saved you from the mountain, and it was an honor. But you saved this town from falling into the abyss. I just rescued my sister. Sacrifice. That is what you did. You are a local saint now. A kind of Ivan Kotar, I'd say. And let me tell you something. You saved me as well. Thanks to you, I now remember who attacked me. I did? I mean, who attacked you? It was Hatur. Now I don't have to fear. I don't live in a lie anymore. I know who I am and what I want. I have found my true faith. Go now. Don't let me hold you here. They're waiting for you down in the basement. Oh, and Benedict, I forgive you for denouncing me. It's all right. Nothing happened. I would have done the same in your position. Now go! That's my sister. Stop looking at that painting. You know I hate it. I look like a corpse. Don't be afraid of the dark and the witch. Just descend. I'll be waiting for you in the basement. I promise. Please don't leave me alone. It's dark. The witch could be hiding in here. Don't you worry about nothing. You're not alone. Your sister is further below. There is a mass of flesh and blood above my head. Like I said, nothing to worry about. You've changed and now you see it. You're finally able to see the truth. Go on. Fear nothing. It's one of the candles from my mother's room. The Eye of Providence is engraved on it.
Victoria? Yes, brother? Where's our father? Dead. Like me. What about mother? She's coming. Luckily for us, you forgot to destroy her body. Did I? I can't remember. Are you dead? Sister, are you? With you dead, I am alone again. You are not. Look around you. Who are they? You don't recognize anyone. It's mother and the rest of the family. Mother is very angry at you. You should have never left me alone in the basement. I know, but I saved you. A great evil has come. We should hurry up. I hear voices upstairs. Great evil! They are not evil! Great evil was done to them! They are now free from the chains! Men and women who want revenge! Are you ready to join me in Ahrizat, brother? You are not real. This is all in my mind. Sacrifice yourself for the prophecy and for the king. Become a slave to Kasag. I cannot be enslaved anymore. I found God in people. Thank you.